I don't think the president views himself as a voice of restraint. We have provided and he has approved and expedited the delivery of uh, more assistance, military and security assistance to Ukraine than any year in history. And I did a bit of an outline for you at the beginning, $1.2 billion in assistance that, including $300 million that we've been able to get to Ukrainian fighters, helping them to hold back the Russian military over the past few weeks. Uh, it is also true. And there will be more that the President will be able to say over the next few days, given he is about to sign a 13.6, uh, an omnibus bill that includes $13.6 billion in security assistance. Um, so I expect he will share more of those details in the next 24 hours. It is also true that the President has to look at decisions that are made through the prism of what is in our national security interests and global security interests. And he continues to to believe that a no-fly zone uh, would be escalatory, could prompt a war with Russia. I don't believe there's a lot of advocates calling for that at this point in time from Capitol Hill, but we certainly understand and recognize that is still a call from uh, President Zelensky. And, uh, on Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world and tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about.